hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how i achieved this curly fry nail that everybody has been asking for um i call it curly fry curly nail twirly nail whatever the fuck you want so what you're gonna need is going to be a straw depending on the size of the nail that you want to make is how thick you're gonna get the straw this is the only one that i could find i stole it from my drink from my dutch bros that they gave me and so pretty much what you're gonna do is start off by making like a tip like where you're gonna glue this piece on so i'm gonna be using my color <sighs> cherry blossom and i'm just gonna pat it on the tip of the of the straw so pretty much you're gonna apply this as a nail tip kind of or you could put a nail tip and then cut it short and apply this piece to that part and normally so these nails were really popular about i don't know like 10 years ago or something like that so i used to do these when i started to do nails in the beginning of my nail journey and they were like a one a one swirl nail so if you guys have never tried these before i would recommend probably try to do one swirl until you get the hang of it because they do kind of, <clears throat> they're time consuming and they are kind of tricky in the beginning. But if you're like Zule and you like to complicate your life, hey, but make it more exciting, then you can do two or three strips of swirls. So I'm going to show you guys how I did the two swirls today and how to call it. Um, let me know in the comments if you're going to try this or if you've done this style of nail before. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to grab a little bit of acrylic at a time and kind of start to twirl it around the, the straw. And you want to make sure that, how to call it, you apply it thick enough so that when you do decide to put this on, it doesn't break. And I like to work in small sections because the twirl the twirling of the the nail is important like if you just start doing one all around going all around if you're gonna do more than one you have to do them at the same time so see how the first one i just used that one bead that i placed until i was done with it and then i proceeded to this one that i'm doing next so the reason why i'm doing that is because if you just do one you might do it too loose and what I mean is like there's going to be a really big gap in between the turns and more than likely is going to be easier to break. So I like to make my curly fry nail or my curly nail pretty tight. And you guys will see towards the end. I don't think I did it too, too tight because again, this is my second one from whoo, years ago, honey. I haven't done this in a long, long time. And so I'm a little out of practice. My first nail that I did the other day, you guys really, really loved. And it was three little swirls. But I feel like I was able to achieve that because I had a larger um, straw. And so I, I don't remember if this straw is actually even going to fit my nail. But it's just for demo purposes. And if it doesn't, I'll just put it on my fake hand. So I'm going to go in with a second color. So I decided to do this nail because I saw a picture on my Facebook, um, like a memory. And then one of the nails was rainbow. So that's why I decided to do this one rainbow to kind of do like a throwback, which was kind of cool. And I hope I can take a picture of these. So if you guys want to do more than one color, you guys can definitely do so. You could do one one curl one color or do half and half or do like me in sections but if you do i'm sorry guys i'm huffing and puffing over here but fucking putting on my pants and you know this girl's chunky so everything is a workout man everything is a workout <sighs> so whenever you guys are going to start a new color you want to make sure to overlap them good so that it does not break so you want to overlap the color and how to call it, make sure that they're kind of blended. It doesn't really matter if there's a harsh line from color to color. But what you do want is for them to not break, you know. Because imagine you're doing this on a client or on yourselves. And then all the colors where you, you divided them 
or you start a new color, they start to break. Like, honey, you know. So this nail is very time consuming. Um, I took the first time I did the nail again, it took me an hour, an hour and some, like an hour 20, something like that. This nail took me a lot less time. So maybe like 15 minutes or 20. I don't remember. But pretty much I recorded everything that I did. I didn't really skip anything. I didn't um, speed it up either. What you guys are seeing is how I went. I was like, I'm going to include the full fucking tutorial because they need to see. Just in case a customer asks you, maybe you can do these in advance or... I don't think your client's going to want to be sitting there for one hour. But how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy. Oh, not today, not Friday. Happy Thursday. All right. So the color that I'm using right now is Iris. All the colors I'm using today are part of the floral collection. If you guys have not tried them, what are you waiting for, honey? Go directly to the website. Go now. Go get them because they're going to be hot. They're going to be hot in the summertime. And you're going to wish you had it. Oh, my God. So I missed the blue poppy, bitch. I didn't record that part. Okay, maybe I lied. I just re didn't record that color. But the rest I did record. So I used blue poppy after the, the iris color. And right now I'm using a nice green color. And then I'm going to follow this color with yellow. Those are my favorite colors. The blue poppy is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite colors from this collection. And like I said, they are very popular in the spring, the summer. To be honest, you could use these all year round. But for the most part, if you guys are bright girls, bright girls, um, and you like Felita, these are the colors to have. And... um. I did add a little bit of acetone to my monomer just in case you guys are like, damn, her should be drying fast as book, boy. Um, is it because I put acetone? I wanted to go as fast as I could because I was going to get my hair done. And I was just waiting. So I was like, okay, I need to do this fucking video real quick, real quick. And I already know how to guide the acrylic. So um, I put acetone and I was like, all right, let me work in small sections. There was a piece that dries super, super fast for me, but I was like, it's okay, honey. It's okay. I like it. I like it. I like it when it dries fast because I feel like I'm going faster. So if you guys um, have like more experience with acrylic and you kind of know how to um, work it or whatever, then I would say put a few drops of acrylic. I mean, of monomer. I mean, bitch, I can't talk right now. I need cafecito. Um, put a little drops in your, in your monomer of acetone and your acrylic will dry faster. Um, but again, it depends on your powder speed. So if you already have an acrylic that dries fast as fuck and then you put acetone, it's going to dry way faster where you will not be able to control it. Especially now that summer is around the corner. Wait, when does summer start? Did it start already or tomorrow? It always starts around the 20 something, my mom's birthday. So... I'm going to have to Google that after. But if you guys know when's the first day of summer, make sure to comment it in the comments. I want to know if you guys know when summer is. Um, But yeah, so summertime, like I mentioned in the past. And if you guys are new, you guys probably haven't heard this before. But here you are. Some little knowledge free for you. Um, In the summertime, acrylic just dries super, super fast. And um, so you want to make sure to have a variety of slower. So the slower acrylics that you've been hating in the winter, you're going to have to whip them out. Those are going to be your best friends now. Trust me. Um, thank me later. And so this is what the nail looks like. Now, the hardest part for me was taking it out of the straw. The first time that I did this, I used a hard straw like the ones for my tumblers, and I was like, bitch, I can not take this shit off. So please do not use those. Um, use a bendy straw so you guys could kind of like poke it like this. And I would suggest to use some tweezers or something pointy so you could get in between the little cracks. And then once you loosen a few of the little, the little twirls or whatever, it'll be easier to pull out. So you're going to twist it very, very carefully, and then you can apply it to the nail like a nail tip so 
Ooh, I was like, bitch, don't break, don't break. That was the hardest part ever to always pull them out because I'm like, please don't break, please don't break. But before you do this part, make sure that the nail is fully dry, okay? You don't want it to be half wet at the tip. And so you're going to break your shit, okay? So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. Give me a little like and leave me a little comment on what you guys thought. I'm going to try to do a full set with these.